Thanks for tuning in. In this episode, we're going to review and uh, do an open box on Wildlife Research Center's Golden Rope concept. Stay with us. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses, a podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and being a steward of the land. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses. Tim, today, what are we talking about? We're talking about the golden rope. The golden rope. Golden rope, you know, it's a uh, product that uh, our good friend Joe. Uh, JB Hunter Extraordinaire. Yeah, Joe took, got me hooked on this and um, he said he's having great luck with this and we're gonna throw some videos in this episode a little later just to show. But uh, he's, a, he's a believer. So I went and ordered up myself a kit. So here's the kit. And then I thought, gosh, sometimes these are I wanted to make sure, hey, I could get a couple years out of it in case it got discontinued. So I ordered an extra, uh, an extra bottle of uh, the the scent concentrate, the magic juice, magic juice. So what this kit comes with is three ropes. It comes with three heavy-duty zip ties, and and one of these bottles. Now, and then it also comes with instructions, and the instructions are super good, um, telling you exactly what to do. The, um, the rope, I would tell you, since it's all deployed, the rope that I have, I would say it's like a, a organic hemp rope. I would say it, it doesn't have any, any dyes, any preservatives, anything like that. It's just pure raw rope. And uh, so I guess I bring that up is, do you need to buy this rope? I don't know the answer to that, to be honest with you. But deer, one of their major senses is smell. And if I want to truly draw a reaction to, to this scent concentrate, then I'm gonna probably go with the raw rope that I got. And I think this, is, this kit was like 38 bucks. And I think this was 20 bucks. So for 10 bucks, I wanna buy the rope. Or yeah. 18, 18 bucks. They're, they're trying to make it convenient one-stop shop, right? Yep. So I can dig that. That's, that's awesome. I think that's a great idea. So the part of the instructions are is, is uh, you take this, this concentrate and this four ounces, dump it in. They want you to dump it in this jar. I used a uh, canning jar and dump this in and then mix 16 ounces of water in with it, shake it up really well. And then the premise is, is you take the lid off and you dump your rope inside and whatever concentrate you don't use, it's good for the whole season. If you're ever out and about, bring, their, bring your handy dandy jar and, you know, basically retreat your, your ropes. So uh, we'll see from my standpoint, but again, Joe's a solid believer. Yeah, so we'll show some video of it. Joe's got some video of uh, Bucks hitting his uh, ropes. And uh, like you said, we just kind of looked through the instructions here. Pretty straightforward, and I don't think they're going to misguide you in any way, shape, or form. It looks like they want the rope to be about four foot off the ground is kind of the target height. Yep. And go from there. So. And I went a little higher. I'm, I probably went to his shoulder height. and uh, But I think you want it to be within a attainable for the buck and uh, I think it's going to hit that. Yeah, so I know this has been out on the market for a little while. It's new this year, I think, but um, if there's any of our audience out there that has any experience with this, good or bad, we'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. Yeah, 100 percent, because this is, I'm just trying it myself. I've got one data point with our, our buddy Joe and uh, if you have, if you have positive luck, please let us know or any tips and tricks we'd love to hear about that as well and uh i don't, I don't have anything else yeah. till next time be safe have fun and get outdoors Desperado.